Two communities are in mourning today over the sudden deaths of star athletes. 17-year-old Matthew Hammerdorfer was captain of his Colorado high school rugby team. During a match on Saturday, took a hit to the chest, then collapsed. An autopsy found that he died due to congenital heart defect. And just two days earlier, 16-year-old Wes Leonard collapsed and died on a Michigan basketball court after his game-winning shot. Now, the cause of death was determined to be an enlarged heart. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more on these conditions. Good morning, Dr. Good, Good morning, Chris. You. Let's talk about Mr. Hammerdorfer first. The autopsy says sudden cardiac death is the cause of death there. Let's talk a little bit about this and exactly how this caused this to happen. Well, that's really a catch-all term, Chris. That is commonly the, the listed cause of death. In his case, it was due to a congenital heart defect. There are about 35 babies born in this country every year with what's known as congenital heart defect. In his case, it was reported to be one called the Tetralogy of Fellow, which really has four different types of problems in the heart. It's usually surgically corrected at three to six months. In his case, the report was he had at least one operation to correct that. But some of the problems are never fully corrected. And with that particular congenital heart defect, it can predispose someone to electrical abnormalities, arrhythmias, abnormal heart rhythms, and that likely caused his sudden cardiac death. Well, also he's playing a contact sport there. Took a hit moments before he did collapse. Could that have been a determining factor? We hear about these tragic cases every year, Chris, and the term for that is called commodio cordis. It's when a forceful blow to the chest strikes the heart at just this precise moment in the electrical activity of the heart that then results in cardiac standstill. Very, very rare. The coroner in his case says that they think it's just a coincidence. Well, you'd mentioned that there was a potential heart surgery there anywhere from one to, uh, to three that mm -hmm. I've seen in some reports. Should someone who's had that history be playing contact sports? To begin Such with? a difficult question, Chris. And, and the pediatric cardiologists who are responsible for clearing teenagers, boys and girls for contact sports or competitive athletics deal with this all the time. We spoke to an expert at Montefiore Medical Center here in New York City last night who said you have to understand the social context of this. For, for boys particularly, athletics is their social currency. So sometimes a doctor might say you're not cleared and they might go ahead and participate participate anyway. Would screenings help at all for something like this? You know, to screen every child, even if they have no symptoms, is probably not feasible. But again, you want to talk to your pediatrician and our right. hearts and prayers go out to the families. Doctor, thank you. You bet.